Hi guys, in today's Tron and Liberty video, I will be talking about uh, Guy Jantarite and what you can actually expect from the big uh, flying whale. So first thing, how do you get on top of the whale? Well, there are a few spots you can use there. All depends on the whale route. First one is you can climb uh, Pure Light Tower. Usually the one that is most common is gonna be the Starlight Observatory Ruins here. There's also one spot close to the Stone Guard Castle, and there is one spot close to the Sandworm Lair. Now, the question is why you even would want to get onto the Guy Janterite? Well, uh, there are a few things here. First, those nodes, you can actually interact with them, and as you can see, you will get Stellarite Element. You can use it to craft the, the Stellarite that boosts your weapon damage. To actually be able to interact with this one, need the special resource called the vital stone how do you get it well you follow the well on the ground and it will drop the big notes from time to time and all you have to do is just mine them now chasing the well will not always be the most optimal option the terrain may not be in your favor and she is quite fast so what you can do is actually go on one of her fins and just wait for the moment she starts shedding those uh, fragments you will see a lot of particles going down. Just have in mind that not every time you see those, uh, the mining nodes will drop. You have to wait a bit. But once you see it, you can just jump down and uh, try to mine it right away. So as you can see, you're actually not getting that many of those Stellarite fragments here. And you can buy them for Solant. And I know there will be events uh, later down the line. And one of them is actually healing the Giganterite. So you probably better just uh, saving those vital stones for now. Now the second thing you can find uh, on top of the whale are those marine ores. There's a total of six of them. They are local, means nobody can steal it from you. And as you can see, we are very lucky and we found precious one. The nodes will start respawning after around two minutes. So you can actually stay on the whale and farm it over and over again. So you may think, what do you need the precious marine? Well, it's gonna be required for you to craft the skill growth books and passive skill growth books. So the other thing that's gonna be important for you later is uh, you can acquire Amitoy here, Yeti. Now to be able to actually interact with him, first you have to do the Paylor quest, which start with the ghost in 202 room in the castle tomb. So after you do this, have to go to the nesting ground accept the quest a little friend uh, in the sky after that you will be able to actually pick the yeti up and then you go to the tailor in castleton and you get the new amitoy so the actual last thing we can do on the guy Janterite is we can unlock the waypoint you can see it's here on the minimap but you can't get there from below you actually have to land on this spot just time it correctly and the waypoint is just waiting there to be claimed. You can actually see the waypoint glowing there in the distance. So just take your time. And land securely. And that's it. Now we can freely come to the island and kill some lizard people. I hope you enjoy. Thanks for watching. And I will catch you on the next one.